Well, as we just told you, some Jewish students say they are considering leaving the U.S. because of the continued protests. They're saying they feel unsafe due to more incidents of aggression and attacks on Jewish students. And now universities across Israel say they are getting calls from Jewish families here in the U.S. who are considering sending their children to Israel to study where it might be safer. Let's bring in New Station's Robert Sherman, who is in Israel. He is live in Tel Aviv. Uh, and Robert, some Jewish students here in the U.S. really are feeling feeling unsafe right now. Yeah, I mean, it's just I would remind everyone that it's you have so many people here in Israel who are watching all of this play out as you see it on every television screen. Many Jewish students in the U.S. have friends here in Tel Aviv and vice versa as well. So those conversations are always taking place here. But it goes beyond that. It's made its way into higher education here in Israel. I want to read you this statement, which was recently put out by the Association of University Heads. Nine university presidents here in Israel writing, quote, this troubling development has led to a climate where Israeli and Jewish students and faculty members feel compelled to hide their identities or avoid campuses altogether for fear of physical harm. That statement goes on to say, we offer our support to the Jewish and Israeli students and faculty facing these difficult circumstances. We will do our best to assist those of them who wish to join Israeli universities and find a welcoming academic and personal home. Since that statement came out, the provost of one university telling News Nation that already their phones have been ringing. I'm sitting in Ben Gurion University of the Negev, which is uh, the southernmost university in Israel. It's uh, 25 miles from uh, uh, Gaza. We have uh, um, we're but we're sadly we're experienced in uh, running the university in times of uh, uh, crisis. So mainly it's the parents who are calling up to find out whether their uh, uh, children, whether their children will be safer as students. So you think about that for a second, Nicole, you have parents who are asking the question, which is safer, sending their Jewish child to a school in the United States or sending them to Israel, which is currently in the middle of a war at this hour. But that's not all here, Nicole. We've also heard from the president of Shiraz University in Iran, who said if there are any pro-Palestinian demonstrators at American campuses or professors who have lost their jobs or might be in some kind of consequential situation, may be facing expulsion, they're welcome to come study at Shiraz University in Iran, potentially with a scholarship. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.